I've never seen such arrogant crispy roasted meat. They only offer 800 kilograms a day, and it's often sold out before it's even cooked. A 16-year-old lady relies on this. She bought three houses a year thanks to this. She's been doing crispy roasted meat for over a decade. Whether the pork is good or bad, you can tell by tasting it. She's very strict about hygiene, using a knife to scrape the surface clean before washing it thoroughly in a sink. She pays attention to every corner. Then, she takes out a meter-long pair of scissors and punctures 800 holes on the surface of the pork. The same goes for the other side. Then, she cuts long slits on the pork surface for subsequent sauce application. The sauce she uses is different from ordinary ones. It's been with her for over 10 years, passed down from her grandfather. With continuous improvement over the years, this sauce has become the treasure of the restaurant. After applying the sauce evenly, it needs to marinate for three days to absorb the flavor. When taken out, the color of the ingredients becomes reddish, as if soaked in blood. They can be placed in the oven for roasting. The roasting process takes place outdoors, emitting a rich aroma that tempts customers' taste buds at every moment. Everyone who passes by can't help but stop and take a bite. With this method from the lady, the already booming business has reached new heights. As for the charcoal, she doesn't skimp on it either. Using high-quality fruit charcoal, after covering the lid, she starts the baking process, which lasts for an hour. The dripping fat continuously flows out from the bottom of the oven. The lid needs to be opened periodically. When white bubbles start to appear on the surface, it means it's almost done. If you want the meat to be crispy and the skin to be chewy, water is indispensable. When it merges with the oil, it makes a sizzling sound. By this time, the meat has become golden brown and crispy. Since it's not practical to roast it thoroughly over charcoal due to its hunger, it needs to be placed in the oven for 15 minutes after being taken out. As the temperature rises, bubbles continue to form on the surface of the skin. When this happens, it's ready. Most people don't spread it out in one piece, they cut it into small pieces. Each piece is crunchy and makes one's mouth water. Even after being cut into slices, the inside remains tender and melts in your mouth. They are then placed in boxes for sale. Besides, there's another way to eat it. Freshly baked bread, with a sound no less impressive than that of roasted meat, is stuffed with shredded roasted meat and some side dishes. Taking a bite feels like swimming in a sea of happiness. Which way do you prefer?